made it to Medellin, Colombia for a special treat. Yes, that's right. We're picking up a new whip for the channel. to my brother actually so maybe that that car will still be on the channel a little bit but um, the car that I'm picking up you guys know I love Audis and I kind of wanted to have <clears throat> before I got the WRX I kind of wanted to have a an Audi S3 or even an RS3 but I have the RS3 at home <clears throat> I could not locate an S3 down here but I was able to locate the next best thing, which actually, actually might be better than the S3. So if you can guess this car, go ahead and drop it in the comments. Um, a lot of people compare it to an S3 or an S4 uh, turbo 2.0 liter engine. Um, about 260-ish horsepower before tune. I will be tuning this car out. We got to roll the window up. All right, so we're pulling up. But like I was saying, man, uh, for me, this car, even though like if you tune into my channel, you've seen me I have some pretty crazy cars. But um, they're not a, but for me, this is this is actually something I've been excited about for weeks. Looking at videos for, for this car and everything. Um, believe it or not, at one point in time, my dream car after I graduated college was a Dodge Stratus, <laughs> a four-door Dodge Stratus was my dream car. So, so for me, this is. Uh, I get excited about any kind of car, man, that, that I'm gonna pick up, especially something that's got some fun to it. Check it out. Welcome to Columbia. <laughs> All right, so we're gonna pull up here. Pull up right now. Gotta tell the taxi where to drive, to stop at. It's right up here. Por este, está bien. Por aquí. Sí, está bien. Um, un poco más arriba donde está el seguridad eso si sí, está bien right. Right, here we go here we go all right that's right we're picking up a Volkswagen or maybe I'm maybe I'm snaking y'all La batería va a tener dos años de garantía desde el 23 del mes 9 del 2023.
up behind, watch a tick, watch a tuck it Dance all queen when she whine and catch it So girl, girl, break me up with your bop, bop, bubble Give me that sweet bop, 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 bubble Girl, come break me up with your bop, bop, bubble Give me, give me, give me, give me sweet, sweet bop, bubble Dale reggaetona, tona, tona Dale reggaetona, tona, tona Dale reggaetona, ton, ton Dale, dale reggaetona, ton, ton, ton Man, they always get me the nice looking salespeople, I'll tell you. Must be part of their sales strategy. But there it is. The Jetta GLI 2023. I got some mods planned for this car. One of the mods is gonna be paint this body color to match this little wing to give it a little bit more aggression. I'm gonna black out all of this silver trim. I think I'm gonna color match this to the body of the car where like where that silver is um but i don't want any chrome all that chrome is getting blacked out I'll black out gloss black the mirrors gloss black the door handles gloss black center of the, the roof what else gloss black all this matte black right here all that's gloss black Gloss black the trim, all that matte trim is gloss black. Matte trim. D badge that advertisement. Even though I'm happy with them. Color match this to the paint color of the car. I don't want any chrome on the car. They already they already tinted the windows for me. This thing is nice, man. This is nice. Smells like brand new. Look at the little color. It's got like a little red, a little red in the in the uh, seat, the leather. It's, man, this is real nice. I thought it was going to have a cheaper feel to it, but no, it's got like a luxury feel to it. I'm used to my Audis, my Audi S3s, <clears throat> and uh, that's why I wanted one of these because I knew it has the same engine as my S3. And uh, I am pleasantly surprised. Yep, blacking that out. It's got these little caps on there take these caps off with that little tool yeah, so. okay here's a lot of that okay so it's gonna be right there right there so it's gonna be right there otra cosa estos carros vienen con un perro en seguridad ah para quitar los menes se lo voy a mostrar de nuevo no sé cuál es entonces Ah, uno tiene. Ah, okay, está bien. So one of the one of the um, the little uh, lugs is a security lug. No, eso está bien. No te preocupes. All right, got my bags in there, nice, huge trunk. So girl, girl, break me up with your bop, bop, bubble Give me that sweet bop, 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 bubble Girl, come break me up with your bop, bop, bubble Give me, give me, give me, give me sweet, sweet bop, bubble Dale reggaetona, tona, tona Dale reggaetona, tona, tona Dale reggaetona, ton, ton Dale, dale reggaetona, ton, ton, ton Girl, break me up with your bop, bop, bubble Give me good wine with your bop, bop, bubble Listening to some tunes already. How do I turn this? How do I, I got a mute button on here. 
they need a uh, mute button on here. All right, first drive, first drive in uh, Jetta GLI. First thing I notice is how comfortable the uh, suspension is. So we'll do a review on this car for sure. I can just do just cut me off. Look at this, boy. You got to be careful down here. Brand pull a brand new car off the lot, and somebody that crashed right into you if you're not careful. But all right, first drive, man. I wanted to make a separate video for the first drive, but I think it's not as authentic when you do that. So we'll do a review, and that'll be like you know the first time I the next video of, of this car. But man, the most underrated, the most underrated four-door sedan on the market sports sedan i should say the most underrated i i can tell you i i'm you guys probably think i'm making this up hold on they got that auto start stop feature i gotta figure out how to turn that off because there's no button to turn it off in this car that i can see i gotta figure that out because in Colombia, the car is a little different. In the United States, there's usually just a button down here to turn it to the auto start stop off. But I don't see the button. Um, but anyway, we'll do a full review on it and all that good stuff. But these are my driving impressions. I just picked the car up from Volkswagen here in Medellin, Colombia. And what I was getting ready to say, first driving impressions, is that the car feels better than my S3. Same engine as the S3. Same engine. But the car feels a little better, a little stronger, a little lighter. It, it feels bigger. It does feel bigger. And it is bigger. It's, uh, I think it's a few inches longer, like almost a foot longer, which gives the back seats a little more space, like knee and leg room space for those that are in the back seat. So it's a good compromise if you want something a little bigger than an S3. But same engine as the S3 is detuned a little bit down to 260-ish horsepower, like 258. And the torque is right around two, um, I'll take that back. The torque is 258. The horsepower is two 230-ish, two like 226 or something like that. But, I like the tuning so far of how early the torque comes on. You have full torque at almost two that like just under 2000 RPM, which makes this car great for city driving. Now I do actually know how to turn off that auto start stop. If I put this in sport mode. Oh, okay. I'm wrong. I thought, I thought that would turn that auto start stop off, but I do have the automatic hold on the, um, when you come to a stop, you don't have to put your foot on the brake because it has the auto hold. But it also has like um, adaptive cruise control. Um, I think it has lane, yeah, it has lane keep as well. So this car can drive itself on the freeway. We're gonna have to uh, test that out when we do the review. But right now, I gotta get something to eat. I think I'm gonna run to McDonald's and get something to eat. Maybe park this thing in the parking lot and do a walk around. All right, so let's go, let's go, let's go. All right, where's Sport? Uh-oh. Dude just crossed the street right in front of me. So I was in sport mode. I'll just put it in drive mode just to see how it feels. We've got um, wireless CarPlay in this car. Man, this car is loaded, man. So what I, what I was driving down here before I got this car was a Subaru WRX, a 2020. And... While it had a little more horsepower than this car, um, you have to really get that car revving like 3,000 RPMs or better to really get that torque. So let me let me go to the McDonald's parking lot. It's, it's a little tiny parking lot, so I don't know how this is going to work, but watch out for this bicycle dude right here. Let me give me a give me a burger or something, but. I'm going to tell you the best thing that I like so far about this car. Maybe I'm getting old. You guys can call me old and all that. But 
the best thing I'm feeling so far in this car is the suspension is comfy way more comfortable than my s3 way more comfortable than my s3 suspension so i'm gonna pull around um uh, how am i gonna do this let me back up what's up in case it's your first time watching one of my videos my name is will motivation this is my channel where i like to share my experiences owning some of the cars that i own in the states i own a couple of supercars lamborghini huracan ferrari f8 but i get a kick almost as much of a kick when i get a regular little fun car like this jetta gli so i'm sharing experience um why i'm gonna go over why i bought this car why i'm kind of excited about it kind of giddy about it and uh we'll do a little walk around but i had to take a break and get something to eat so just stopped by mcdonald's ate something this is my building here in medellin colombia where i am a real estate investor so i invest in the united states i invest overseas this is my current project so we're gonna have some fun with this car so let me do a little walk around show you guys the car yeah looks like nardo gray for the color right well what they call this in Volkswagen terminology is pure gray. That's right, pure gray is the color. All right, let's see, start the car up right here. All right. Now I'm gonna pull it out so you can see it in the car a little bit better. But anyway, let's do a walk around in the car. Let me show you guys the car. Um, but yeah, it's got a lot of settings. We're going to do a review on this car. So stay tuned for that. But I want to show you the inside and out. Then I'm going to park this thing in the garage and go upstairs and play some Xbox. All right, let's talk about this car and why I decided to get the new 2023 Volkswagen Jetta. By the way, I do have some new rims coming. Don't worry. I got some five spoke style like 19 inch wheels these are 18s that are on the car so i got some 19s coming uh, i'm gonna paint them gloss black they're matte black i'm gonna paint them gloss black we'll throw them on this car <clears throat> it's gonna transform the car it's gonna make it look a lot sportier sportier but yeah this is a 2023 volkswagen jetta gli if you're wondering okay what's the special thing about this car why did i buy it the special thing about this car is it has the same engine as the Audi S3, but I think it's a little bit lighter than the Audi and it's front wheel drive. Now, a lot of people will argue that rear wheel drive, or I'm sorry, all wheel drive is better because all of the Audis have this Quattro all wheel drive. But in this case, the way this car feels, the way this car drives, and I was doing a little bit of checking on the reviews, this car actually feels faster than the s3 now i don't i don't think it is from the factory but with a simple tune from companies like apr or um ei for example with a simple tune you can add an additional 100 horsepower and about 100 foot pound of torque which will really make this thing really really fun so i'm also going you know i'm going to do the exhaust we're gonna do my little mods on it so anyway i was kind of excited about getting this car because i had um my 2020 wrx cvt which is the automatic transmission and while that car was really fun to drive really sporty and really good for down here with the all-wheel drive and everything um i have another brand new uh wrx which is a manual so i wanted something a little bit different so when I'm in the mood to drive the WRX in the manual, I'll get in my 2022 WRX. But when I'm in the mood to just drive, kind of chill, I don't want to shift gears and stuff like that. But I want a car that's peppy, has nice power band. This is the car that I chose and then that I wanted to get that's different, um, different driving dynamics than my WRX. And they do feel really different, even though the power is about the same on um, this GLI versus the 2020 Subaru WRX. Now, other than the power, 
the price range is very similar let's see here man this isn't going to be a full review i'm gonna save the full review for the next video but i can't tell you how impressed i am like i like these materials i don't know if this is real leather but if it's not real leather i actually like the way this feels better than real leather somebody tell me in the comments if this is real leather or not but look look at all that seat seat room in the back the nice color uh, material for the seats um look at it look at the styling i like this little gloss piano black mixed with a little red thread in it red stitching in the seats so let's send the cockpit all right here's the cockpit it's got kind of a luxurious feel to it um i'm surprised to be honest i didn't think it was gonna have this kind of a feel to the car i'm very very impressed like I'm so impressed that I would consider getting one of these over an S3 in the States. But um, I have been looking at maybe getting one of these cars for several months now. And I and I wanted to hold out for this color. And the salesperson I dealt with, she found me the color. And I, it actually, I'm like, it actually just came. So I flew down here to come pick the car up. And uh, I'll have about three days to play with this car. So we're gonna do a review, we're gonna do a how to drive, we're gonna do all that fun stuff with this car. So stay tuned, and you're gonna see why I call this the poor man's Audi S3, but maybe it's better than the Audi S3, to be quite honest with you. Bang for your buck. I'm gonna just say hands down, bang for your buck right now, it's better than the um, Audi S3. From what, I'm, from what I can see in all of these features that it has, the adaptive cruise control, automatic you can drive like the car will drive itself all that stuff in a car in the states this car is about a thirty thousand dollar car in colombia it's a little bit more than that it's like a thirty five thousand dollar car in colombia depending on the exchange rate so um but yeah i'm very happy with the purchase and uh let's go ahead and put this thing in drive all right so the behind the scenes man for me a dream car at one point in time for me was a Dodge Stratus. Think about that. I used to look up the stats on that car. I used to think, okay, that car is affordable. And uh, to have come to the point now, you know, where I have the Lamborghini, I have the Ferrari and stuff, and, you know, all these different things, these cars that I'm sharing, um, it's really mind blowing to me. And I want to thank you guys for coming along with me on the journey. Um, but I want to continue to share the journey. And what goes on behind the scenes in order for me to be able to get to the point where I can play with the toys like like this new GLI and, and then share it with you guys so behind the scenes man a lot of you guys know I'm a software engineer by trade I went to college for software engineering computer science at Hampton University in Virginia and came out did corporate America for about 10 years started my own business um, a software related social networking business that did well and then when that did well i started investing in real estate so behind the scenes i'm actually like this building that i'm in i'm actually down in columbia working because i have um two actually three i have four condos in this building three of them i've been working on one of those three is actually ready so i'll show it to you guys um and then i have two that are under construction so I'll show you those real quick as well. Not gonna be a full video on those, but I just wanna show you briefly what's possible when you think outside of the box as an investor. I consider myself an investor, an entrepreneur, as well as a software engineer. But uh, the more I go in life, the more I get involved in investing because investing is the smart way to take the money that you've earned and grow it so that you can do fun stuff, you know what I'm saying, and enjoy your life um, share with your friends and family, you know, your successes. And so I just want to share some of that with you guys. So let's go ahead and pull inside the building. I got to put my, um, I got to put my bags in the house and I'll show you one of my projects that I've been working on. And I'll show you, like, I got some pictures. I'm getting one of them ready for Airbnb right now. So I'll show that one to you guys as well. In case you're curious, there's the 
uh, WRX 2022 next to the GLI. Gotta see which one's faster. I actually think the uh, GLI might be a little faster, but we're gonna we're gonna find out. Take y'all on a little tour, a little tour of the building. This is my floor. I own three of the units on this floor. Three out of four. This is my main unit that I stay in. Basically, I'm gonna move. Got Reg over there watching the game. All right, this is my, this is where I stay, my little humble abode. Let me get some light in here, and I'm gonna show you guys my um, investment projects that I'm working on. So you guys can see what's cracking. Built all of this. Well, not myself, but I had it built. Like I designed it, I designed it. You guys might recognize that car right there. If you subscribe to the channel for a while, drop me a comment. If you are a uh, OG subscriber, let me know when you subscribed. And what I really want to know is what videos you guys want to see coming up. But let me show you these investments. Got a little video popping off. All right, here's the biggest project I got going on. Getting ready to put some um, furniture in here. So here's how it's looking. As you can see, they paint it. So paint's looking good. White ceilings, like a, like a, I don't know what you want to call this color. It's called an antique gray is what it's called. The floors are really dusty and dirty. So yeah, we're going to have to address that, but once they finish getting everything done, they'll clean up the, the flooring. This is gonna be a dining room right here. Kitchen's gonna be over there. This is gonna be my office. And then it has four bedrooms. So, bedroom right here. Gotta get that trash out of here. Bathroom. The two bedrooms in the back. Ceiling fan. Be a nice, nice big closet, custom closet. Here, another custom closet. Bedroom. This one has its own bathroom. They wait to do the bathrooms last down here. That's the way they do construction in Columbia. I don't know why, but hey, I figure they know what they're doing. <laughs> uh, but yeah, so the three bedrooms back there. This is gonna be a pantry right here. So store some food back there. Your mops and your cleanups, stuff to clean up the kitchen. Then uh, the master bedroom, which would be my room. Come through here. I have my own, well, washer and dryer room right here. A little bit more storage right here. I'm gonna put a, um, a door for the storage right there. And turn on the lights back here. This is gonna be my master bed bedroom. Got a little closet, a little walk-in closet right there. Nothing too huge, bathroom. Shower on the left, toilet on the right, cabinets in the middle, double sink. I'm building a place to put my fireplace because it it does get cold down here sometimes, even though it's going through a hot spell. It sometimes gets cool down here, so got my little fireplace. I put some granite on the top and some cabinets on the right and the left. TV, put the bed over here. And yeah, so we're making progress. It's just been a little slow but slowly but surely i just gotta i'm gonna update these light switches i don't like these light switches at all garbage so i'm changing those but at least we have lots of them down here we got a lot of them so that's what's going on people so i'll i guess i'll run downstairs real quick and show you what i've been doing from the one that's going to be an airbnb Finishing touches, now all I, I gotta do is just buy like towels and things that my guests will need when they come into the Airbnb. Um, so I'll show you that real quick, but hey, whenever I show you guys the new cars, I wanna show you guys how we afford the cars and what's possible. So this is a real estate investment and this is how we do it. All right, so here's the Airbnb that's just about ready. I wanted to put some pictures up. So I got these pictures, check it out. Um, 
Let me turn the lights on. Got some lighting down here. It's the living room. Got some furniture in here. But big thing was I needed some color. So I got I got some pictures put up. These are different places actually in Colombia in the Medellin, Medellin surrounding area. So if you wanted to come down here and stay and you saw something interesting in one of these pictures, you could actually go to whatever place that is in the picture. So got my huge TVs, got my work desk, got your kitchen with the granite. Let's see. That's light for over here. So many light switches in this place, I'm telling you. There we go. Lights right there. The kitchen. Bam. Look at that picture right there. Dope. So I want to get that picture up. Got pictures in the hallways. Let me turn the light on in the hallway. Got this picture up. Got the big Bob Marley. Shout out to my man Greg. Got the beds all cleaned up picture on the wall right here so when you're snoozing chilling with your honey or whatever you got something to look at on the wall right there beautiful bathrooms yep so this thing is almost ready to, to rent out well it is ready to rent out I just I just gotta go through and make sure I got everything got picture on the wall right there turn the light on picture on the wall right there that's Guatape that's a touristic destination. That's like downtown Medellin at Christmas time. That's the bomb. I'll take my mom down there at Christmas. Got your beautiful bathrooms. Check out the bathrooms. Every, every bedroom has its own bathroom. There's two masters in here as well. This is the master in the back. Check out that artwork. Turn the lights on. Look at that artwork. That's a, that's a place you can visit as well called... Um, Comuna 13, Community 13, and uh, dope, look at this big, I designed this bathroom, by the way, big, big bathroom, double closets, one on the left, one on the right, double sinks in the back, check out the back lighting, I love that, that's dope, but you got your toilet back there, you got your big shower right there, chilling. This one's almost ready to go. Airbnb number one of three. All right, let me turn this whole light off. And I'm gonna show you the master bedroom in the front, which I think is the best. You got a walkout right here too. Uh, my man said he cleaned off them. He said he's cleaning off the stuff, so he didn't get to that, I guess. But anyway, we got a balcony in the front, a balcony in the back. But this balcony in the front, goes attaches to this bedroom right here which I don't know why they got it all dark in here let me see I don't like that all right there we go check out the artwork artwork looking good this one has its own bathroom as well it's not as big as the other one but it's nice So there it is, folks, a uh, little bit of behind the scenes and what's going on down here in Medellin, Colombia, where I just got the 2023 Jetta GLI. Hope you guys enjoyed this video and stay tuned for the review of the Jetta. Um, going to take you guys through the ins and outs, my thoughts on the car. But man, for real, I think this car is better than the S3. Maybe not in looks, but maybe in everything else. So stay tuned for that review. Hit that like button and subscribe for me. And uh, look forward to some more content down here in Medellin. It's the one and only Floyd Money Mayweather. I'm here to tell you guys to go to Wheel Motivation. The exotic cars is crazy. I've been watching this show for a little while now and it's growing. But we need everybody else to subscribe to Wheel Motivation and support Wheel. I'm supporting them. You do the same.